In this video, I want to show you how to clone it into a project, a super repo project, um, with Git. And th by that I mean it's a Git repo that has several submodules in it. This I'm going to use one of my own. And basically, you're going to clone like normal, but you want to add the recursive onto the end of it. So go ahead and go do that. You see right now it's actually cloning the submodule as well. It just puts it all in there, gets it all ready to go. All right. now let's go ahead and get into our base app. And this is a few scripts I have of my own. This is a Symphony 2 project. So I created some things just to automatically get the composer and whatnot for me. Uh, while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and uh, get our PHP Storm uh, environment set up. So go ahead and launch PHP Storm. And when you do this, you're going to want to actually create a new project. Well, actually, just going to open the directory where you're setting all this up. Alright, so once it's open, Up your base app. And it's going to tell you there's unregistered git root det detected. We're going to take care of that here in a second, but first let's go ahead and set up some NOR directories. So uh, whenever you set up Symphony 2, there's a lot of files that's just going to make your indexing hell and really is not going to be worth your time. So First off, go down here, it's under project settings to directories. And don't have the catchy yet, but let's go ahead and exclude this. Eventually we're gonna get a catchy in here as well, and we're gonna exclude that in the app area. Let's go ahead and set up our VCSs. And because this is submodules, you want to add a version control entry for every place you have the submodule. So go ahead and configure the VCS. In this case, core is a submodule. We're going to want to edit this again. It's not working right because we need to. What I was talking about. Oh. Now, whenever you check out a submodule, look at the branch, it's in a detached head state. For development purposes, I want to put that on the master, so I can actually push to it. Here we go, now we have it. Now control branches from different routes synchronously. Basically this is going to allow us to theory, you know, do one commit and it just automatically PHP storm puts it all together and knows what to do. Alright, now everything's done here. There's another little script I have in my app. It just kind of builds up the database and primes everything. And now that we're doing that, now we can set up the extra exclude for the catchy directory because we do not need that. Yeah, it's catchy. Go ahead and exclude that. That's just going to be a pain in the butt on your indexing. 
and we don't like that. Go ahead and go over to your command line tool support and now we can add our symphony framework add that it's gonna load in all the symphony commands so it's smart you can put a little alias hit on it I'll show you how to mess with this here in a second as well ignore that VCS root error because it is definitely there. I don't know if it's a problem with some modules or what. But now, let's go ahead and get our command line tool. Okay. This is a nifty little tool you can use to run things. Create a file, test PHP. Go ahead and add that to your test. We're going to delete this file here in a second, so what we actually put here does not matter. And it's actually another slight issue with some modules. It only shows up here. You actually have to commit to both the submodules and the the parent get repo. Alright. Now go over here. You see there is something waiting in the, the parent repo. It says source Savona core. Well we have to add that says it's not staged for commit. Go ahead and add it. Beautiful. So get push. Go ahead and push this. And go over here. Anything else we need to push? Yes, we do. That's um, our sub module. So go ahead and push that. That's been pushed. And that's all peachy. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this because that's just a useless file. Commit. Like I said, this slight problem. See, it says there's no changes detected. But again, if we look in our root. So let me check over here. Will it see the change if we do that? No, it won't. So, again, we need to add our submodule. Switch there and push it. Right. So one of the things I love about PHP Storm, say you're lost in this file and you need to find out where this method came from. 
you want to maybe you want to see how a render is done. Go ahead and right click on that. Go to declaration. Boom. And you can easily find out more about this. And then you see it's using a container git method. All right, we need to find out a little more about that as well. Declaration. Boom. You can just keep going back and get to the root of what's going on and help you s understand the code a lot better make it make your tasks uh, get your tasks done a lot quicker because it's such a powerful editor and helps you navigate all through your PHP code base